What's up everyone, this is JR Tech, and today we have the top 10 features and hidden tricks for the new operating system, iOS 9. This is going to be for iPhone and iPad. Now I had iOS 9 for about almost two weeks now, and a lot of the videos you see on YouTube now, people only had them for a day or so. So I made sure to give you guys quality hidden tricks and features that you guys would not find in any other video. In this video, you're not going to find the hidden trick as the search bar is over to the right. I'm going to give you guys good quality ones. But enough of this chatter, time to dive into the top 10 features. First off, I just want to show you guys that I am running iOS 9. So we're going to go into my settings, general, and about. You can tell right here that I'm using iOS 9. So let's get started with this top 10 list. Up first on the list is the passcode. You can now make this longer, so you can do it longer than the, the four digits right here. And you could also add different letters instead of just the numbers. So we're going to go into your settings, and up here you can just search for your passcode. And go in there, put in your password. Then once you put in your old password, you want to go to change passcode. Now you can go to passcode options right in the middle. So now you can customize it. If you want to do letters and numbers, you can switch between those two. And you can also go back to the normal four code, or you could extend it to be the six code digit right there. Up next, we have the percent battery. Now this just isn't for your iPhone, but it could work also for your Apple Watch or anything else that is connected to your phone. So you can easily find this by going down to notification menu, go to today, and you can see right here that you have my iPhone tells me it's at 19%. You could also quickly check what my Apple Watch is at, 59%, and then I'm also connected to my radio right here in my car, so that's at 100, but anything that you're connected to, it will tell the battery meter. In order to turn that on, you want to go scroll down and click edit. And then from there, you just want to move do not include. You want to click on the battery and move it up to so it's included. Up next is a scrolling feature, and I found this to be really useful when it's in long text and you're searching for something. It makes it a lot faster, so you want to use two fingers, and then with any keyboard, you just want to place them both. And right here, you can tell the letters disappear. And you can use it to select different things and also scroll up, and it makes it a lot easier to navigate through text. For number four on the list, this is for all the people that take a lot of videos with their camera. Now you can change up the settings, so you can change up the resolutions and frame per second. I know this is something that Android users have been able to do for a while now, but you could finally do this on your iPhone. So you want to go into your settings and go to photos and camera. Then if you go down, you can see right here, you could change up the, the camera. So if I want to do 1080, I could do that in 60 frames per second, or I could do 720 in 30 frames per second. So if you know if you want a smaller file, so if you don't have that much memory on your phone, this is a good idea to switch that up. For number five on the list, this is a very subtle but very useful tip. So if you have an application open right now and then it takes you to another app, you can easily toggle back and forth with the, up here in the top left corner. You can see that there's a little arrow and it says back to notes. So you just click on this and it makes it a lot easier than double clicking, clicking on this and then going back and forth between the apps. So I really do like that feature and I use it a lot. Another useful camera tip is while recording video, you could toggle the flashlight so you don't have to stop recording. And another little useful hint is right here. You could also take a picture while you're recording and it won't have to stop recording to do so. For the seventh tip and trick, there's an iCloud app that's already pre-installed on your device. But in order to turn it on, you have to go to your settings. And in the iCloud app, you can actually control and see what's in your iCloud. So this makes it a lot easier to manage your system and you can easily delete things from here and I really do like it. So in order to turn this on, you want to go into your settings, then you want to go to your iCloud, then from iCloud you want to click on it right there and you want to make sure it says show on home screen. So when you, so when you install iOS 9 it's going to be off so just make sure you turn it on if you want to be able to have that app and access it. Number eight on the list has to do with the low battery mode. So in order to turn this on and activate it, you want to go to your settings. You want to scroll down to battery. And then you want to enable low battery mode. And this is going to turn off some different performance. And you know it's going to slow the speeds down that you're getting. So maybe from 4G to 3G or even Edge for like T-Mobile. And it's not going to push your mail or anything like that. So it's doing all these different things. And that's in order to save you battery. And I actually found it to be very helpful and useful, especially in situations where I'm not close to a charger and I'll be at work and I still have to, you know, make an important phone call or anything like that, or make sure I just have my phone in case of an emergency. So it's very useful. 
up next has to do with the notifications. So right here, it's gonna group it by how recent it is, but you could actually customize this. So if you have other priorities that you know, you wanna make sure that you're seeing and that they're not trapped all the way down there, you could edit this. So in order to do so, you can go to your settings. Then you wanna find notifications. Then from there you go sort by and then go manual. So if you want to make sure you don't, you don't miss any phone calls and it's not all the way down to your notification, you don't have to scroll, you can move it all the way up there. And I found this to be actually really useful and I use it all the time now. The last and final tip and trick that I have for you guys is Siri did get a little bit smarter. So you can ask Siri a more complicated questions or more complicated tasks. Like for example, you could, Siri, remind me to turn on my radio when I get in my car. you so you can see right here that it understands what I'm asking for and it actually does work so when I get my card it will set a reminder and I found Siri to be a lot more helpful and I'm actually using it a lot more now well that's it for my top 10 tips and tricks for your iOS 9 for your iPhone and iPad if you guys have any other really useful tips and tricks please make sure to leave a comment down below if this video did help you out please smash that like button give me a thumbs up well, I gotta go hurry up now and go charge my iPhone. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And this is JR Tech signing off. Peace.